Almost. Sarah, take one. It was totally my mom's idea to put me in ballet. I think she was like, well, what do you do with a three-year-old? The other art form that I really love is classical music and going to concerts and going to the New York Philharmonic. Since classical music is so much a part of what we do, I just love to sit there and just listen to it, watching the musicians play their instruments. I think it's so beautiful and so fascinating to me. Do you listen to music when you warm up? It depends because I don't want to get like too pumped up for a show because then I get like nervous. I know the guys are, guys love that. They like blast like Led Zeppelin or something. It's just always dramatic backstage. I mean, I see people coming off like screaming and just like falling to the floor and I was like, oh, that's so dramatic. But then I do it too. My entire mirror is covered with Lucky Charms or cards or pictures or like hanging like ornaments on my lights. Kind of looks kind of crazy town when you walk into my dressing room. But I love being surrounded by like happiness and, and good wishes. Around the time I got promoted to principal and a couple years after that, I felt like I had to rehearse every single day. And if I didn't do it, then I wasn't gonna feel comfortable on stage. Blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, that was so crazy and people actually made fun of me for like rehearsing all the time. That's why I got injured because I was completely over rehearsed. So for me right now, it's about having a more intense, very specific rehearsal time and then not having to rehearse it every single day because that just kills it, first of all. And then you won't be excited and just kind of spontaneous on stage. My last meal would be my mom's mac and cheese Uh, ribs or fried chicken um, and canned cranberry sauce. I'm obsessed. I know that's so random. I think the, the person that the audience sees on stage is a very dramatic, um, over-emotional kind of lay everything out there kind of person. But really who I am is a silly little girl who's crazy and is very shy. I feel like the person I'm on stage is who I want to be. On a really hard day where I feel like I just can't get moving or get inspired, I think about the eight months I was not able to dance with my back injury. I immediately go back to that time and I say, you need to get your butt to the studio and get moving because there was a time where you weren't able to do that. And there's some people right now that aren't able to do that, so go do it for them. My name is Sarah Mearns and I'm a principal dancer with New York City Ballet.